Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Goon Dude here as always. This week we're going to go over dive bombing, its perks and when to use it, as well as the different situations in which it is most commonly used. So we are back in the training arena and let's begin. So here we are in the hangar today and in front of us is what is most likely the most infamous dive bomber of the World War II era, the Junkers Ju-87, also known as the Stuka. The Stuka was used primarily in a ground attack role. So think bombing convoys and trucks. And then during the Battle of Britain, it was in fact sent across the English Channel to bomb towns. Now, the issue with that in-game is our towns are very massive. They're not concentrated little pockets. A single Stuka cannot disable a town. So that's why we use more traditional heavy bombers when we are considering going after a town. A couple other notable dive bombers. Another very notorious dive bomber from the World War II era is the Japanese D-3A-1, American codename VAL, used extensively in the Pacific Theater against the American fleets during the advance through the Pacific, where it faced off against the likes of the Douglas SBD-5 Dauntless and the SB-2C Helldiver. Now, we don't have the Helldiver in-game, we only have dauntless and as you can see with all of these these bombers these dive bombers they do not carry with the exception of the stuka with its one 1800 kilogram bomb that much poundage of bombs they're very limited in what you can destroy which is why in game they're not used as often normally when we're going to do a ground attack roll such as porking a base, going after the radar, the troops, the ordnance, you're going to see someone grab an attack fighter, such as the P-38 Lightning or the P-47 Thunderbolt. Now, both of these are known ha for having an attack roll, and they both select models have dive flaps to help them pull out of a dive so for today's purposes, we'll stick with the P-47 for all of our dive bomb training. All right, I'll meet you on the field and let's go have some practice. So here we are, turning to head towards V-85, one of the rook bases that we're going to attempt to take down one of the hangars. Now, I can already hear the comments coming in that why am I using a P-47 to demonstrate dive bombing? It wasn't a dive bomber. It was a ground attack and fighter aircraft. Well, because during its ground attack rolls, it was known for dive bombing. So it is realistic to be used as a dive bomber. It even has... Maybe it doesn't. It even does have dive flaps. You can see by the little yellow light that turns on and off. So, V-56 is in sight. Luckily... Mm, well. Let me select. Yes, there it is. Okay. So luckily, because I am not the best dive bomber in the game, part of the reason why we're in the training arena is it gives us the nice green cross to help us know where we're aiming. So let's get into the cockpit now. We have two of our bombs selected. We're going to dot salvo 10 into our chat buffer because we also have rockets equipped because it takes just about 3,000 pounds to down a vehicle hangar. We only have 2,500 pounds of bombs, but we also have rockets. So, we're going to get over our target to where we want to be. You're going to want to cut your throttle back. Personally, I roll over 180 degrees. Dive in and start looking for my target. 
And right there is, in fact, my target. We're going to release those and hope to pull out. And as you can see, I did, in fact, miss the hanger. I just managed to hit a gun emplacement. So let's see how close we actually were. If we can see this without being shot down, would be spectacular. You'll be able to see our impact craters. Hopefully. Just shoot that down quick. Um, I don't even see our imp up right there. You can see the rocket impact craters just behind the vehicle hangar. So they will have done some splash damage. I'm not certain where exactly the bombs landed. <clears throat> but it is that simple. Roll over and drop the bombs. Okay, so while we're climbing up here to get over to the aircraft carrier we're going to attack, figured I'd stop and talk to you guys for a second. Before someone points it out, yes, I saw that Nash messaged me in the chat box. I spoke to him on Vox once I had finished filming the last section, uh, just to let him know we were filming, and that's why I didn't answer him immediately. Secondly, the main reason I'm using the P-47 as our dive bombing analog is because of the dive bomber's greatest drawback. Not the fact they don't carry a lot of poundage of bombs, but that they are very slow. The Stuka in-game has a cruising speed of less than 250 knots. Right now we're climbing out at 160 so, this is roughly how fast the Stuka will actually go, even in level flight in-game. Which is why you don't see dive bombers used often, as they're easy targets for fighters and anti-aircraft guns. Just like they were in World War II. Which is also why every dive bomber we have in-game does have a gunnery position. At least one. Technically, the Ju-88 has three and technically it was considered a dive bomber but it was much more commonly used as a medium level bomber so with that let's find the carrier and i'll see you when we're gonna dive in on it so here we are we have found the aircraft carrier and we're gonna do a different profile for this this bombing attack instead of doing the rotate over and dive. We'll do a traditional dive s slope, if you will. More like, it looks like a very steep landing. <clears throat> so I'm currently up at almost 10,000 feet uh, to try to stay out of the, at least, normal ack, the guns of the aircraft carrier. So, shift C, dive flaps are out, cut throttle, Dive down, select your weapon. I'm going to have to roll over because I missed it. And those were good hits. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to sink the carrier or even light the radar up on it. Because we're in the training arena, and nothing in the training arena stays dead. It automatically comes right back up. So, the number one thing I can recommend for you to do, if you want to learn to dive bomb, is get into the training arena, and just do what we're doing. Dive down, learn bombs flight paths, so you can figure out where in your reticle you need to be looking, to know where it's going to hit. Well, I hope you all have a good rest of your day. And remember to fly safe. See you all later.